All right, you guys. Bread. You sheltered me from harm. What is going on? Kept me warm. Kept me warm. <laughs> what is going down, world? A welcome to the 40 year old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus. And you guys. There's a band, and their name is Bread. Bread. It looks like maybe they're from the 70s. 70s. I have no freaking clue. This is a first-time reaction, blind reaction. I've actually never heard of these brothers, right? You put Bread on YouTube, and you get Wonder Bread, Rainbow Bread, da-da-da, and then these brothers come up. And I'm tripping out because a few of y'all were like, yo, check out everything I own from Bread. And I'll keep it real, man. I'm a rap dude from the other side of the tracks. You know, I've been rapping a long time in my life, doing the hip hop thing. And dude, Bread sounds like a dope rap group. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All the references, I make dough, but don't call me dough boy. Bro, where did they get their name from? Like, why would they call themselves Bread? I am so curious. I have so many questions. So let's just get into it. A like, share, comment, subscribe. Here we go. 40. 40 year old boy, boy. boys are back in town. 40. Boys are back in town. 40 year old what? boys what? are back in town. What? The boys are back in town. 40 year old FUQ Boys Podcast. Malt liquor for your ears. 40. All right, you guys, let me get this logo down and pull the video up. Before that, don't forget to support the original content on the channel. I've been dropping music, music videos, a couple parodies, vlogs. And when you guys support the original content, it allows me to create more. And you guys know, I, I love to create. I'm a creator. I'm an artist. So if you could support that, and we're going to keep these reactions rolling. I have a good time with these, man. And discovering stuff I've never heard before. Epic. So we have bread. Okay, I'm going to just look in the description. I know nothing of these brothers. Yeah, this is just a topic. So they were on Rhino, Electra, 1972. So the early 70s. And I'm here for it. I don't even know what to think. All I know is Homie came in singing. It sounded beautiful. I like where this is going. But um, let me just get into it. This is Bread. I'm still freaking out on the name. Like. That name is low key hard. Anyways, um, let's see what these brothers are about. This is bread, everything I own. Here we go. You sheltered me from harm, mm. kept me warm, kept me warm. Set me free Y'all want me to cry on this one, huh? That's what y'all trying to do. Y'all trying to make me cry, man. God dang it. They're talking about their parents. I don't know who they're talking about. It has to be. It says you get, bro. This is incredible. God. Ah. Mm. Oh, this guy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Man up, man up. Um, this is about our parents, man. And this one hits me because, uh, you know, it just reminds me of my mom. That's what it reminds me of. That's what it reminds me of. 
and everything he's saying is true, and I feel the exact same way. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Wow. Anyways, let's get to the song. It starts off. The dude's voice is amazing, but then the guitars really hit. And the beginning, it's, you start to feel the emotion just going through the lyrics of like, these are all the things like your parents do, right? Like they created you, they gave you life in your formative years. Like I'm raising a daughter right now and I just, I want her to just be happy. I do everything and sacrifice so she can be happy. And I just think about my parents doing that for me. And I never appreciated how much my parents did for me until I had a daughter. And now I have another one on the way. And I just really appreciate this song already. 56 seconds in. And I got to fight these uh, these onions, man. I got to fight it, man. I can't go home looking like this, man. Come on now. My wife's going to be like, what the hell going on, boy? Oh, sheesh. Golly, this is great. This is great. This is what music's about. This is what I, I like music that just resonates with the soul immediately. And if it can make you feel an emotion, you're dealing with amazing artists. And the fact I've never heard of bread before, and this is the, the 56 seconds in, this is how they make me feel. Whew, Lord have mercy. Everything I own, just to have you back again. So true. You taught me how to love What it's up What it's up You never said too much But still you showed the way And I knew From watching you Nobody else could ever know Let go And I would give anything I own would Give up my life and my heart My home I would give everything I own Just to have you back again I'm struggling through this one, you guys. Damn. It's interesting because when I listen to music live with you guys, I can't separate the music from the emotion that music's supposed to make you feel. I think that's one of the reasons people come back to my channel because I'm so open about that. Like, I could just be a box, a robot, and be like, man, do you hear these guitars and his voice and da 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 and this is amazing. But when something grabs a hold of me and wreaks havoc, I just have to say it. And that's what this is doing to me, right? Not wreaking havoc in a bad way, but that emotional. And this connects, again, my father's still here with us, but my mother, man, passed away from cancer in 2010. And this just song just, it just resonates that. But it also fast forward to being a father and like, just trying to guide your child, not tell them what direction to go, just guide them and then set them free. And hopefully you gave them the correct tools to flourish and be a great human being. And just all these different emotions from what they're saying of, I would do anything to have my mother back on this planet and be able to just talk to her again and let her see her granddaughter. But at the same time, trying to be that parent that maybe one day the song will resonate with my daughter the way it's resonating with me. Is there someone you know you're loving them so but taking them all for granted you may lose them one day someone takes them Just 
just to touch you once again. Bruh. You know, that last part was incredible. This whole song was incredible. I'm like, how have I never heard this? You know, um, this 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 whole uh the insight at the end. Because we do take our parents for granted, especially when we're young, right? I see when it's happening now. But it's okay because you're their kids. That might I'm speaking from being a parent. They're kids. They don't understand. It's okay. And if something happened and I left early, I just want them to know that I will love them forever. And you just take things for granted when you're young. Experience is the best teacher. This is true. And I took my parents for granted until I matured and understood the so many values they instilled in me and so much, you know, and I hear that and it it always reminds me of me being a grumpy Scrooge. I'm not going to get into the reason why, but I, I always was angry at Christmas time. You know, my mom would be like, Hey, will you get the, the Christmas tree out of the, the storage closet? He thought, and I would fuss and fight. And then now she's gone and I would just kill to just have a huge, wonderful Christmas with her and my family. And you take it for granted. And you want to know who they remind me of a little bit vocally? The monkeys. Remember? Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. And that's like nothing around. I don't know why. At the end of it, when those when this when they start playing the guitar and it really like the the song comes to life, I was like, yo, man, kind of remind me of the monkeys. They have their own thing going. I'm not, you know, when we get on here, we just have uh, conversations. And, you know, sometimes you try to com- uh, uh you know, make comparisons that make sense, but I, that's not to take away from them because the monkeys are an amazing group. It's their do their own thing. You guys, you got to let me know more about bread. Who were they? Why haven't I heard of them? Like, this is like this song. Yo, I am choked up straight up. <clears throat> this song is so crazy to me. This is like Beatles, the Beatles to me. This is like if I, I've heard the Beatles, but this is like, in my opinion, if I'd never heard of the Beatles, like that's how I feel about this song from Bread. Do they have any more songs this big? Like what happened to them? Are they still around? What in the absolute F is going on? I'm losing my shit right here because that song, What this is going in my forever playlist. This song. This is so good, you guys. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe I found this on YouTube. Um, or I'm react. I, I'm in. I'm really at a loss for words. This is great. Thank you, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. 40. Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. 40. F-U-Q.